Hi there, I'm David. And I'm Con. Thanks for joining us again for another episode of Camera Peeps. David, can you explain to me what you have in front of you? Look, we have a product from Hawkwoods, yep. uh, well known for their batteries and, and accessories. Um, this is a model SPG14, and it's mm -hmm. basically about um, uh, getting power, battery power, V-lock battery power to your LED lights. Right. So. I see there's two plates on that. What, what's that all about? Well, look, basically, you, you just put a, a V-lock battery on each side, uh, and then you, you put it on the stand. It comes with a fixed spigot. Right, we've got a photo there where, that's, that's, that's where it. it sits on top of a stand, and you're going to show us exactly well, how that's well, done? Well, first of all, the old brass spigot, I'm not sure that industry standard's basically not long enough. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will replace uh, that with this longer spigot. Mm -hmm. Just put that in there. Uh, then that goes on there. And then, oh, so that's what that big yeah. knob is for. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then we uh, put a battery on, mm -hmm. and then obviously the light on top. Right. So, so how do you power the light? What's the output? Well, look, it has uh, a four-pin XLR output. Yep. Um, so you will need a uh, cable mm -hmm. of some sort, which which I have here. Yeah. Uh, this one is a four-pin to four-pin XLR. Mm -hmm. Now the Astro Light panels that I have has a three pin XLR mm -hmm. input okay. so it'll be a trip to your local tech mm -hmm. and get a custom cable made to whatever. Four pin to three pin, yep. Correct, yep. Uh, and then you pretty much just, uh, that goes there and then that sort of plugs in into the back of the light. Um, now does this thing have a Hiroshi or D-tap on it? It, it does not, uh, although some of the batteries obviously have a D-tap. Uh, I, I don't think it's necessary in this case. This is a product designed for lights that draw mm -hmm. a lot of power. So high draw uh, yeah, uh, equipment. I, I don't think the sound recordist will, will be using this. Mm -hmm. so. so here's another shot showing the XLR plug on the unit yep. and the cable going into the light. Yep. Yep. And um, why have we got this photo up? Look, this is a typical situation. Uh, mm. This is a live cross for morning TV. And, you know, that situation there, I think there's about six V-Lock batteries driving the whole thing there. Mm. And I think it's a great product for this environment. Uh, live location, you know, the guys that do the location weather for the morning shows or the sports crosses, you know, the um, when there's a major event on, mm -hmm. um, the non-broadcast rights holders, they're usually delegated to outside the stadium, mm -hmm. and they may have a crew there from the morning news, uh, the mid-morning news, the afternoon news, and, and the evening news. So, you mm -hmm. know, they, they could really do with these lights and not have to worry about, with the hot swapping capability. Because uh, as you were saying to me earlier that, um, uh, sometimes you have to have the lights on ready to go even before you go to wear yeah. and that can be a long time before you actually get switched and sometimes that's when your batteries decide to die. Yeah and because they are uh, you know in the switch in the you know the master controls or whatever and they have feeds coming in from LA or London or whatever you know they're just facing this wall of monitors yeah. and you're on standby and you know they just want to see that it looks normal and if it doesn't look normal they'll think they've got a problem ah. and then that distracts them so yeah. I think uh, it's, it's, it's helpful if you can just have your lights at full power. Yeah, okay. so uh, theoretically, even if you're going live to where you're noticing the batteries need a changing, mm. you can easily do that without anyone noticing. Well, when they're giving yeah. you the countdown, if you say you we're uh, coming to you guys in 30 seconds, that's enough time to, to do a hot swap, yeah. technically, you know. So. Yeah, and no one's any the wiser yeah. that the, you had to do a battery swap. Yeah. So here's another photo of a live cross. Yeah, and look, I, I put that one in because with the microwave link operators, they mm. uh, can't always get their vans to the camera position and, and they have a breakout uh, kit, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just a small microwave link um, and they put on a, a stand like this with a mm -hmm. V-Lock battery and I thought, well, look, these guys could possibly utilise this system as well because mm. then the microwave link isn't going to go flat. Mm. My lights aren't going to go flat, you know, so mm. it just helps, helps the whole process mm. uh, along. Now, what else have you got there on the table? Well, what's look, that? I, th I think another uh, application for these is um, when you buy an LED panel, mm -hmm. um, this is the Aladdin look. It, it actually comes standard with a mm -hmm. with a V lock uh, plate. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a it's an optional extra. Yeah, like and my Cineroid lights, I had to buy the power supply separate. Yeah. Yeah, and I just figure, well, look, you can either buy the manufacturer's uh, V lock plate, mm 
Mm. And screw it on, or perhaps you buy one of these. Well, with mine, I had to buy a super clamp and a brass spigot mm. to screw in the power supply to attach to a lighting stand. Where, whereas this makes it a nice, mm. neat uh, solution. Yeah. yeah, and and I think uh, in the feature film world or the drama world, I think this could be useful. Uh, you know, as a monitor mm. holder or um, you know, video split transmitter or something like that. Mm. I, I can see this. Use your imagination. Can you? Do you think that could take the weight of, say, my 17-inch Panasonic monitor? I'm not sure. We'd have to check the specs. But Hawkwood's yeah. uh, website is very comprehensive, and mm. my advice would be just check. Yeah. Well, worst case scenario, I can, like uh, I said with the Cineroid power supply, just use a super clamp. It's got a built-in spigot. Mm -hmm. Attach that to the stand and run the yeah. XLR cable to yeah. my monitor yeah. and have the hot swap ability so I don't have to turn off the monitor, mm. especially if it's midway through a take and yeah. you need to change batteries. Yeah. yeah. Um, and just another feature, it's subtle, but it's something that um, Hawkwoods uh, mm. take a lot of care with in their design. The pins, oh. the contact points, they're fairly highly rated, uh, mm. 12 amps, I believe, mm. so that's just nice yeah. to know that's sort of going to... So you can, uh, the pins can take a higher draw mm. from equipment, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so can the batteries, yeah. uh, I imagine. Yeah, so, um, so look, I think it's a good product, and it's well, it's one of those products that I think you buy it, and, mm. and you'll have it for a long time in your kit. If you're not using it for lights, you'll use it for something else. Now, I'm just uh, noticing that with all the weight of the batteries up the top, plus a light or a monitor, you're very top heavy, aren't you? It is, and if it was me, I would probably have the... 10 or 12 kilogram shot bag at the mm. base of the stand because Which if, all professionals mm. you know especially if they're outdoors would always put bags on stands right yeah and look some of the news and a current affair guys don't have them or mm. they can't carry them but you know just improvise you know just put a pelican case there or something anything to, heavy just to yeah, yeah. put the weight down because the if bottom. this does go over it's going to be a very expensive mm. fall so inevitably when you're working outdoors you always have wind, uh, gusts of wind mm. and stuff like that which can mm. knock absolutely equipment over yeah so no i think it's a good product yeah i, I think you're right and uh, i love the dual battery hot mm. swap ability i mean that's I think most equipment should ha give you the option of, of having yeah. um, that feature. Mm. All right, so thanks everyone for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation of Camera Peeps and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode.